Today we're going to practice using our vanishing point. I'm going to go through about half of this worksheet with you so that we can do it together. And then I'm going to give you some time to work. Okay, first, please write your name on the top of your paper and your class. Okay, now we have three different viewpoints within this worksheet. When you're looking up at the um, box or the building or whatever you're looking at, that's going to be considered the worm's eye view because you'll be seeing the bottom of these boxes. When you're looking straight at the item and you see the side of the building or box, that's going to be our human's eye view. And then when you're looking down and you see the top and possibly side of the box, that is considered a bird's eye view. Okay, so let's start up here with our worm's eye view. Now we have our horizon line running horizontally across our paper. This point right there in the middle is the vanishing point, okay? You are going to connect the three corners that are the closest to the vanishing point on this first box, all right? So those points will be this corner here, this corner here, and this corner here. If you'd like to circle them so you know, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? so. We will be using a ruler to connect these points because straight lines are essential for perspective to help you get a nice, convincing, and neat drawing. So the first thing we're going to do is line the same side of our ruler up, touching both the corner of our box and our vanishing point. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time to make sure that's nice and straight and touching and then I'm going to draw a little bit of a line it's okay not to take it all the way to the vanishing point if you do um, that's no big deal we can erase um, but make sure that you are drawing really really lightly okay a lot of perspective drawing does get erased okay next we're gonna take the second point we're going to line it up with our vanishing point it doesn't matter if you use the top or the bottom of the ruler, just make sure that you're using the same side. Don't get confused and line this side up with your corner and this side up with your point. That's going to be an inaccurate drawing. Make sure that you're using the same side of your ruler, touch it to the corner and the vanishing point and go ahead and draw that line. Okay, third, we've got our point up here. Connect that corner and your vanishing point and draw the line, okay? Now that we have these three lines here, we just need to finish off our box with a parallel vertical line and a parallel horizontal line, okay? Parallel means that the lines go on forever and do not touch. The easiest way to create those parallel lines are to line your ruler up with the side of the box Scooch it over really slowly to make sure that you don't wiggle one way or the other. If that happens, your box will look crooked, okay? So we're going to line this up, scooch it over slowly, and just connect those two lines there with a vertical line. Okay, same with the bottom. Line your ruler up with the bottom of that box. We're going to scooch it down, making sure not to turn our ruler. And you're going to bring it down just until you see that little corner right there. Okay, now this here is a perpendicular line, meaning it meets at a 90 degree angle, a right angle, okay? This corner here should also be at a right angle because this is parallel to this this is parallel to this okay you don't have to be a great artist to understand perspective perspective is more about following the rules if you can follow the rules of perspective then you will have a very successful drawing okay then we just need to erase those extra lines and there is our box okay this time, moving over here, we want to, again, connect the corners of the box that are the closest to the vanishing point. Now, this one is a little different because both sides of our box 
straddle the vanishing point, meaning we have one side of our box on one side of the vanishing point, the other side of our box is on the other side of our vanishing point. When that happens, you're not going to see a second side like we did over here in this first example. You're only going to see the bottom of this box. Okay, so let me show you. When we connect these two corners, this time I will take it all the way to the vanishing point just to show you. Okay, so I'm lining that corner up with our vanishing point. I'm gonna draw my straight line down. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Same thing, draw my straight line down. Now let me show you, if we try to connect these corners to our vanishing point, they would be behind our box. Okay, so they're really unnecessary. Unless you were drawing something that was um, transparent, which in this case we're not. So we're not even going to worry about that because we're drawing solid objects right now. We can't see through them. Okay, so I've got this corner here and this corner. My last step on this box is to line my ruler up nice and straight slide it down slowly and really it does not matter how far down you want it to go if you want this to appear like it's really going far back into space you're going to give it a, a larger space on the bottom if you want it to look a little more shallow you're only going to give it just a small amount of space okay I'm gonna split the difference here and go about halfway down now I've got different cues on my paper that let me kind of look to make sure that my ruler is nice and straight I can look down here to see if I have an even space between my horizon line and my ruler I can look between this space and this space I've got a line here that I can kind of compare I've got a line here that I compare so I'm whenever I do perspective I kind of look everywhere on my paper to make sure that everything is nice and straight Okay, I'm going to draw my line now since I have extra here I'm going to just go ahead and erase that okay so this box is now finished okay so we're gonna move on down here you guys can do this other bird or worms eye view box on your own now I want to move over here to this human eye view okay this one again is going to be similar to this because I have two corners that are on either side of my vanishing point. So this one essentially is the exact same technique as this, um, except we've turned it 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to connect this corner with my vanishing point. Draw my line. If you'd like to go again all the way to the corner to the point, you can. If you want to stop it and just go a little bit of the ways, you can do that as well. Go ahead and line your ruler up with the bottom corner and your vanishing point. Draw that line, and then we need to create our vertical parallel line. So I'm going to line my ruler up with the side of my box, slide it over slowly to however far I would like it to be and draw my vertical line. Now normally I would erase this line, but since it's printed on my paper, obviously I can't, okay? But this line here would also be erased, okay? So let's do one more example together, and it's going to be this bird's eye view down here. Now this one is going to be very similar to this, except we're doing the top two corners and this bottom corner here um instead of the opposite like we did up here okay so this corner this corner and this corner are going to connect to our vanishing point so i'm going to line those up draw my line over line it up and draw it over and the same here now, since these boxes are running close together, if I were to continue this line, I could create this box to be um, behind this one here, but we're not gonna worry about overlapping for the sake of this practice sheet here. I just want you to focus on getting nice straight lines and using that vanishing point. Now, here is an extremely common mistake. For some reason, in perspective, when we are doing these two 
uh, parallel lines here on the back to create this 90 degree angle there here for some reason as we're moving this over our minds want to turn our ruler i don't know why but I see it all the time. If you make that mistake, it's fine. It's totally fixable. But let me show you what that looks like. Okay, now you can look at this and tell that there's something wrong. Whether or not you can tell me what is wrong at this point um, kind of just depends on how quickly you're picking this up. But let me show you. The easy way to fix this is you can see my ruler is not vertical right now on my paper okay my ruler is at a diagonal when you are doing the back side of a building or a box um, this back side always is going to have a horizontal line and a vertical line okay all you need to do is just turn your ruler to go straight up and down and that will fix it Okay, this is what I mean by following the rules of perspective. If you know how perspective works, then you will have a successful drawing. Okay, so when you're doing this worksheet, please double check, make sure, make sure that your lines are not diagonal on the back sides of these boxes. Okay, they should be vertical or horizontal if you're seeing the top or the bottom of a box okay all right please use the rest of your time to uh, complete this handout thank you